start with a prayer. Um, thank you, God, for giving us another day to live. And thank you that we're able to gather together here tonight and hear your word. And please give us understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, tonight, tonight I'm preaching on the reprobate doctrine. That's good. Or as man pleasing Dale Ruddy likes to call it, this hate doctrine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And by the way, Reddick says I just like to parrot what these guys say and what Stephen Anderson says. You like parroting, do you? How do you like this? You're a phony. You're a liberal. You're backslidden. You're wicked. Amen. You're sitting in a cult. You're following a cult of a man. You don't care what the Bible says. It's you don't good. care what God says. Any preacher that graduates from that college is it worth spitting on? That's right. Amen. That's good. But I don't say that just because it sounds cool. This confirms it. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to get into that in a minute, but um, first I want to address a few things that his crony said. Um, the Saxa quoted, speak evil of new man in response to Justin criticizing Jack Scoff after Reddit called him an idiot for believing the Bible. Hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You think we're not allowed to say anything negative about anybody, not even baby murder and Barack Obama, not even the vicar of hell, the Pope? Yep. See, let's open your Bibles to Matthew 23. Come on. Good. Come on. Get it. Matthew 23, starting in verse 13. That's good. good stuff. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer you them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Verse 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Yep. 16. Woe unto you, you blind guides. 17. You fools and blind. Yep. 19, ye fools and blind. Yep. 23, yep. woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye yes. pay tithe of mint and an and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. So I guess you're doing a good job with tithing and abstaining from alcohol and all that, but you've omitted the weightier matters of salvation, inspiration. Yep. Come yep. on. Amen. It's good. 24, ye blind guides. 25, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. 26, thou blind Pharisee. 27, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, and of all uncleanness. Yep. Even so ye even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Verse 33, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. That's right. Luke 13, 32. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cure today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. That's good. Psalm 55, 15. Let death seize upon them, and let them go down quick into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. Yep. That's good. 2 Peter 2, 12. <coughs> These as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Amen. Speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Wow. That was a lot of evil speaking there. Yep. Better be careful, Jesus and David. I don't think Jack Scott would approve of that. Yeah, probably not. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Calling Jack Scott a faggot, a false prophet, unsaved. He has two different testimony stories, neither one of which makes sense on its own, let alone two different ones. Yep. You got saved by your sister with no Bible verses? No, you didn't. That's right. You got saved by watching the Billy Graham crusade? Come on. No, you didn't. Amen. Amen. Calling Jack Scott a faggot, a false prophet, unsaved, filthy dreamer, pervert, reprobate. That's not evil, it's the truth. Amen. That's right. I'm just warning people, marking and avoiding like Romans 16, 17 commands us to. That's good. good. And Sachs also said something like, do you think we haven't studied the Bible for years? Do you think we don't know what we're talking about? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Amen. Trying to inject your ideas into the Bible doesn't qualify as studying. That's right. You can't even get down basic stuff like hate means hate. Hate means love no more. Let's look at Hosea 9.15. That's good. Why is still there? <laughs> <laughs> Wickedness is in Gilgal, for there I hated them. 
for the wickedness of their doings, I will drive them out of my house. I will love them no more. Yep. All their princes are revolters. You know, God knew that idiots like you were going to come along and try to say that hate doesn't mean hate, so he just lays it right out here for you. Yep. I will yeah. love them no more. That's what hate means. Get over it. Amen. Basic stuff like uh, if you don't believe the record that God has given to us eternal come on, life come on, yep, come on. Fire, and you're not saved. That's right. That's right. We have to be born of the incorruptible seed. Yep. yep. Jesus is the word. Amen. Did you miss out on the gospel of John when you were doing your study? That's good. Yep. And lastly, that Johnson guy was pleading with us. Why don't you just believe this? Yep. Oh, that's a strong argument. I'm convinced. <laughs> First, of, <laughs> First of all, because it's not what the Bible says. That's right. Why don't you just believe the Bible? Amen. Second of all, Acts 5.29. And Peter and the other apostles answered and yep. said, we have to obey God rather than men. Amen. So that's why I don't just believe you. That's good. All right, now I'm going to let the Bible confirm that quote I said earlier. You're a phony, Dale Riddick. 2 Timothy 3.16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God Amen. and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. You see the King James Bible is your authority. You say that's where you get your truth. But as soon as you see something you don't like, you go run into the Hebrew. You go run into Jack Scott. Yep, Those yep. are your authorities. That's right. Stop lying to the people. Take Bible Baptist Church off the front of the building and replace it with Hebrew Scott Tool Bag House of Merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> You're a liberal. It's good. John 1.38. Then Jesus turned and saw them following and saith unto them, What seek ye? They said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted, Master, where dwellest thou? Rabbi and Master are the same thing. Matthew 23, 8. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Remember that. John 2, 13. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves, and the changers of money sitting. Yep. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money, and overthrew the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. That goes right along with be ye angry and sin not. Yep, yeah, it's good. It's good. First Timothy two twelve. But I suffered not a woman to teach, nor do you serve Bond. authority yeah, yeah. Man, Get that trash. Silence. Get that flowery pulpit. Get it. Revelation two ten. <laughs> Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, yep, because thou right. sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Man. You know, somebody's committing fornication in their mind when Mrs. Preacher gets up and talks that smut during the woman's Woo! Good. Oh. Amen. Isaiah 3.12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy pants. You graduated from and are sending your kids to a college modeled after the world with master's degrees and such. Yep. You're selling things in God's house. Yep. You let your wife preach. Yep. That's right. That's liberal. Amen. You're backslidden. Hebrews 5.12 For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Yep. Yep. Psalm 101 verse 3 I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. You've forgotten how salvation works, if you knew in the first place. You watch TV. There's a bonus deal right fun fact for you. He watches TV. I've been in his house. I've seen him do it. <laughs> You're wicked. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things, six things, doth the Lord hate. Yep, come on. These seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue. Yep, come on. Come on. Jason called up Jack Scott. Everything's fine. Yeah, come on, come on. Right. And, hand, yep. and hands that shed innocent blood, yep. and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Amen. Proverbs 26, 28. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. That's right. You hate us. That's right. That's right. I'm working hard to not hate you, which is hard to do. I'm not even sure you're saved. Yep. These following verses might apply to me too if you are saved, I'm not sure. 